Hi, my name's Alan and welcome to another episode of Affinity TV. Today we're just going to take a quick look at a great little app for your iPhone or your iPad that allows you to create vector-based artwork, some really great stuff based on pre-made shapes. Now, I'm just inside of Affinity Designer quickly because I just wanted to show you something. Obviously, if you're, you're at home and you're working on your Mac, you know, you have some shapes built inside of Affinity Designer and Affinity Designer is a one and full app for, for working with vector-based um, artwork and, you know, obviously creating illustrations. But currently there isn't an iOS version and I know the guys, uh, the team at Affinity are definitely looking into and do some research into making an iOS version available. No doubt being able to have something like this on the iPad Pro is definitely going to be something that I'm really looking forward to. But for now, I just wanted to show you a great little app how you can design on your iPhone and get that vector-based artwork straight into Affinity Designer. And not only that, it also allows you to have additional shapes available for Affinity Designer. So I'm just going to switch over to a screen recording and I'm currently on my iPhone inside of the App Store. And there we go, the app's called Assembly by Pixite. Now, I think the base package was around like £2.99 UK price. There are additional packs you can buy, which I think are around 79 pence each. And there is a Forever Unlocked package, which is a bit more expensive, but definitely worth it, in, in my opinion. Um, well, certainly something that I was interested in and, and, and paid for. But it allows you to Forever Unlock um, all future packs that will be available or will come available to you with inside of the Assembly app. So there we go. Um, you can read up some more information about it directly inside of the App Store. So I've already downloaded it and installed it. I'm just going to double tap and just switch back over to the app I've already installed. Again, just down at the bottom, I've got these three panels. So I'm currently under my projects with so some of the stuff that I've already created. In the middle, we've got a section for tutorials. So for those who are new to the Assembly app, I just want to find out more about it. At the top there, we've got some beginner tutorials. And as you scroll down, some intermediate, and then towards the bottom, there we go, some more advanced tutorials. So play around with that. Again, because this, this lesson is not about how to use the app, but it's really how you can use the workflow to design your iPhone straight over to your Mac inside of Affinity Designer. And the third panel at the bottom is some inspiration. So at the top here, we've got some, uh, some demos and some remix projects that they allow you to download and play around with. And as you scroll down, there's a features gallery. Some of the work that some of the artists have created, uh, um, it's a nice one, little Batman logo. So some of the work that some of the um, artwork that's been created from some of the users that Assembly have decided to, to feature. So you can just go to show you the potential, some of the stuff that's available to create inside of the app. And if we just scroll down a little bit, there we go. There's something that I worked on inside of the assembly app, a little NES controller. And I'm rather chuffed that they actually asked um, to feature me. So that's nice. So now I'm just going to switch back to my projects. And I'm just going to click on the plus icon for the new project in the top left. And let's open it up. So again, these are some of the packs that are available. If I just scroll back to the beginning quickly. So you've got some basic shapes, some tiles, some wilderness stuff. See, there's a few animals there, some mountains. So you can see these are all pre-made shapes. And what it allows you to do is drag them onto your canvas and design something. So robots, some creature shapes there, some characters, botanical, urban development, um, transportation, of course, out of space. So I think overall there's, I think there's over 180 um, individual elements and that will continue to grow, no doubt. So again, I'm just gonna start with characters. Again, I'm just going to create a very simple, very basic design. Um, and after I've done that, I'm just going to take a quick look at something that I've previously created. So I'm going to start with a character. I'm going to start with a body. I'm just going to tap and it appears on the screen for me. And let's just add some legs. Down in the bottom right, uh, I'm just clicking on styles. And over towards the right there, you've got these little three circles next to the color swatches. I'm just going to tap on that. So I'm going to choose like a dark blue. For those uh, for those legs and again I can just drag on the screen and just move these individual elements around and it gives me this blue outline to show me um, what I've currently got selected if I tap back on the, the top the body half I've got this little circle this control point in the top right if I drag and hold I can then resize and rotate the body 
I'm just going to drag that around. Now I'm just going to use two fingers just to pinch and zoom so I can get closer into this. And over on the right hand side I've got some options here. And I've got these ones with the two arrows facing up and down. And this allows me to move the current selected layer um, in front or behind my previous shapes. So I just want to bring that in front of the body there and just move that shape forward. So now I'm going to hit, go back to my shapes. And let's choose a head. And let's choose some hair. Go back to styles. Let's just change the color of that hair to maybe some dark brown. Okay, and I'm going to select the head. Go back into my color swatches and choose more of a skin tone color. And let's just zoom in and let's just place these um, in the right place. Just zooming in. And again, I'm just going to resize the hair just so it fits on top of the head. Go back into my shapes. I'm going to find an eye that I like. This one here in the middle. And let's click styles again and let's change the eye color to black. Zoom in and just make that a bit smaller. Just rotate that a little bit. And again, over on the right hand side, I've got some options. I'm looking at the fourth icon down on the right hand side, which allows me to duplicate. Just drag that over and then back over to these icons. And this time, the third one. And it just allows me just to flip that around. Go back to my shapes. Let's just quickly add a pair of glasses. And let's just zoom in and just make those a bit bigger. I want them sort of hanging off the face a bit. There we go. Double tap so I can see my whole canvas. Actually, what I might do is just make the body a bit and the legs a bit smaller. Just, there we go. Let's just zoom in a bit more just so I can uh, resize some of these uh, resize some of these elements. There we go. Again, like I said earlier, I'm just going to create something really simple, something basic. You can spend a bit more time and more detail in creating some nice designs and logos and characters inside of the assembly app. And again, I could go back into shapes and if I wanted to add a mouth and some backgrounds and stuff like that. Actually, one thing I do want to do, um, I'm not too worried about the mouth at the moment. I'm just going to click on Artboard in the bottom left of the screen and select Change Background. Again, I'm going to click on these little three circles to the right to change the color swatch. And let's just choose this swatch here, A3, I'm going to go for. Uh, something like that. And then I'm going to confirm that with the tick in the bottom right. And it does, once you go to change the art board, it does give you the option to change the um, aspect ratio as well. But I'm going to keep it with um, one by one for now. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to confirm my selection by clicking the tick in the bottom right of the screen. There we go. There we go, so very simple, very basic design. So now if I click on the icon in the top left of the screen, the little menu icon, it reveals some additional options. The option that I wanna choose is export. So let's just tap on that. Um, it gives me the export size. I'm gonna select PDF. Now, I want to choose to save this to my Dropbox. You do have options to either save it as a message, a message yourself, or email it to yourself. For me, I want to choose to save it to my Dropbox. Now, inside of Dropbox, I've already created a folder uh, called Assembly. So that's where any work I do inside the app on my phone, I can save it directly to my folder inside of Dropbox, just um, for organizational purposes. And it's a bit easier for me to find when I go back to Dropbox. So I'm going to tap on Save Dropbox and sign in. And let's just rename the file. Uh, let's just call this man for now. And I'm going to hit Save in the top right. There we go, uploads it in real time. Save the Dropbox for me. So I'm going to switch back to my Mac now, straight over to my Finder folder. And there we go. This is all in real time, it saved it directly there for me. And there we have inside of my assembly folder, inside of Dropbox this character design that I've created as a PDF. So now if I choose to right click on that on my Mac and choose to open with, I'm gonna open up with the Affinity Designer Beta to make sure the two boxes are checked. Now it's gonna try and work out an estimate for the DPI. I'm happy with that, I've tried that before and it seems to do a really good job in my case. And so all I need to do really is just hit open in the bottom right 
And there we go, straight inside of Affinity Designer. And the great thing about this, you can see over in my layers panel, it's brought over each of these individual elements. Again, so I can come in there, and if I wanted to, um, I can change the, the colors of this. Um, in this case, it's nice, bright yellow. Let's maybe change that back. There we go. So one of the benefits of using something like Affinity Designer um, over the assembly app now, if I just switch back to the app quickly, um, you can see as I'm playing around the app and move the body around, it's all moving around and in one so the hand and the body are not separate, they're not independent. So anything I change there, again if I change the colour, you know, it's changing everything. Where if I switch back to the Mac version and the PDF I brought over, it's actually separated each of these individual elements for me. So it allows me for finer control over the design of the character. And again, like I said, you can change the colors. You can start grouping these into their own um, layers now and, and renaming them. I have control of the hair and the eyes and, and the glasses. And again, I can start using things like my node tool and the corner tool if I wanted to design or kind of reshape um, any of these and kind of have a bit more fun inside of Affinity Designer. Now, if I switch back to the app again inside of Assembly, and let's go back to my previous project. And let's just go back. And here we go, here's that little NES controller, which was featured inside of the app. This time I'm gonna choose the Game Boy. This is what I created inside of Assembly. And again, I'm gonna hit the little menu icon in the top left, and choose to export, PDF. Again, I'm gonna save it to my Dropbox account, just quickly log in, give it a name, let's call this Game Boy that's what it is there we go and hit save it's going to upload it for me again so let's switch back to my mac directly there it is game boy right click and again where we go open with and again i'm going to choose affinity designer beta and if you just have the affinity designer app again you can open it directly up within that or inside of affinity photo if you if you wish to uh, again i'm just going to click open in the bottom right and there we go Again, all the individual layers, all the individual shapes which retain their colors, I can now have full control of that inside of uh, Affinity Designer. And the great thing is all the shapes that are available inside of the Assembly app, you, know, you can play around them, create your stuff, and essentially have additional shapes to play around with besides the built-in ones inside of the Affinity Designer app. Uh, one of the things, a couple of things I noticed about this, which I didn't get a chance to do inside of the uh, assembly app on my, on my iPhone, is get to round these corners. So what I can do now is, if I select the corner tool, over here on the left hand side, let's just select the, the Game Boy. And what I'm gonna do is just hold down the shift key and select the three nodes, one, two, and this bottom one on the left. And make sure rounded is selected up here in the context toolbar. And it's just gonna round them off a little bit. There we go. Just giving me um, just more rounded edges rather than those sharp ones that um, I created inside of the app. Now, one thing I noticed as well that I forgot to do inside of the app was create a little um, sort of power light they normally have in the game boards over here on the left-hand side of the screen. But that's fine. I'm gonna use the shapes inside of, if anything now. So I'm gonna use the ellipse tool. Just hold down the shift key and just drag out a little circle. It's going to zoom in. So if I want that bit smaller, and let's just make that really small somewhere over here. And let's just change that to a nice bright red color. And let's just zoom back out so I can see that. Here we go. Actually, I might make that bit smaller um, later on. If I zoom back in, I made a little mistake earlier on inside of the app, which I didn't realize inside of the app until I see it now. But I kind of got this triangle, um, sort of hanging over rather, in the background. So if I just select the shape, again, I can just resize that. And let's just resize this circle while I'm here as well. Just make it a bit smaller. Just zoom back out. There we go. So, again, you know, like I said in the beginning, you know, if you're using the Affinity Designer app on your Mac, you know, in the office, in the studio, wherever you are, you know, you can, you know, not saying you can't create this in the app, but of course you can. It's just that 
if you're traveling around and you don't have your Mac with you and you kind of have that moment of inspiration, um, the assembly app is really great for quickly building stuff and you know, most of the, all the shapes in there are, are pre-made. So it literally is drag and drop onto your canvas, build your character, build your logo, be happy with it. Even if we just kind of get a basic idea together, a, a simple template, you can then save that directly as a PDF, open it up inside of Affinity Designer on your Mac and continue to work. And of course, now I can save this as an Affinity Designer file, a PSD if I'm gonna share it onto anybody, that, uh, anybody else that I'm working with, or even if, indeed if I wanted to open up inside of Motion, Apple Motion or uh, Adobe After Effects if I wanted to kind of animate this, I now can. So there you go, guys. That's how you can quickly use a great vector-based application from Pixite called Assembly on your iPhone or your iPad. Create a nice little logo, a nice little design, send it over to a Vinny designer to finish off and, and make some tweaks and make some changes. Or even if you just want to keep it as it is um, and use the app on your phone for some inspiration or just to add additional shapes to a Vinny designer. So there you go guys, have some fun, you know, show us what you can create with it, show us the work that you've done with it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.